Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. A good adhesion is one of the most important things in 3D printing. When I got my printer nearly two years ago, I tried several things with more or less success. First, I used the glass plate delivered with the printer. The advantage was that the surface was very even, but the adhesion was not very good. I used it also for ABS together with a slurry mixture of acetone and ABS, because I was able to take the glass out of the printer to paste the slurry on it. Because I always had problems with the warping when I used ABS, I completely abandoned that way and concentrated on PLA. Then I changed to a sort of blue tape and it worked okay. Sometimes I was successful and sometimes not. One thing bothered me a lot. I had to replace the tape quite often because I destroyed it when I removed the printed goods. Then I discovered that other YouTubers used captain tape to get good adhesion. I ordered a roll and put it directly on the heated bed. This allowed me to avoid the glass and its attachment and still provides a clean surface. As you will see later, the adhesion is also okay. As you saw in my last video, my captain tape is destroyed after many months of usage and I have to replace it. Captain is a polymeat film developed by Dupont in the la late 60s that remains stable across a wide range of temperatures up to 400 degrees Celsius. The film I use is very thin and has a very sticky side. It is also quite easy to destroy it if you don't pay attention. But first I had to remove the old film from my heating bed. To do this I removed the heating bed from the printer. This is quite simple for my printer. I just have to bring the bed in a convenient position. To bring the bed in a convenient position I start the print and after the bed is in a good position I just switch off the printer. From now on the bed stays where it is. Now it's easy to loosen the four adjustment screws and remove the plug from the bed. On my bench it is quite convenient to remove the captain tape. But you see how easy it is to slice it into pieces. And you also see its stickiness. On YouTube you see different videos on dealing with captain tape. Some use several rolls of small tapes. Others put the raw tape without any aid on the bed. And everybody I was watching worked alone. I show you now how I do it. After removing the tape, I clean the bed with alcohol. Now I apply a little bit of glass cleaner, in the US called Windex, on the surface. This liquid makes sure that the captain tape does not stick to the aluminium, at least not during the fitting process. You could even distribute the liquid a little bit better than I did it. As a second step, I used the roll with the captain tape. Its width is wider than the bed itself. Like that, I need only one row to cover the whole surface. The adjustment is also very simple. But now I need the help of two other hands. Because the tape is extremely sticky, it is really hard to do this step alone. My nice wife was so kind and helped me out. Using four hands is much easier to unwind the necessary length of the tape and put it on the bed. And because of the soapy liquid, it does not stick and can be moved quite easy. Now I can continue with my own hands. I use a credit card to remove all remaining bubbles. After this process, the captain lies flat on the aluminium. With a pair of scissors, I cut the tape at the location of the screws and the plug. 
Now I can bend it and stick it to the opposite side of the heating bed. I just have to remove some excess material and the new bed is ready to be put back into the printer. The mounting of the heating bed is done exactly in the reverse order as it was removed. After that there is still a lot of soapy water below the tape. To remove this I heat the bed to about 60 degrees. I do not exceed this temperature because at 100 degrees water starts to cook and creates big bubbles. After 30 minutes or so the tape sticks well enough to the bed and we can continue. As a next step I have to level the bed. I do this the conventional way where I move the print head to the different corners and adjust the bed till a normal piece of paper just fits between the nozzle and the bed. This process has to be done several times because the bed was removed. After this I can start the first print. For this video I just print one layer of a case. This should be enough to see the adhesion. Now I stopped the print and tried to remove the PLA. To do so I use a small Japanese scraper. It is thin and has a sharp edge on the front. You see, this first print does not stick very well and can be quite easily removed. For sure, I could adjust the distance between the bed and the nozzle to get better adhesion. But I discovered a simpler way of getting more adhesion. I bought the cheapest hairspray I was able to get and sprayed a little bit on the captain. Now I print the same layer again without changing anything else. The bed temperature stays at 60 degrees. The result is much better. The adhesion is much stronger. And it is not necessary to spray the bed after every print. The effect of the hairspray lasts at least for 10 prints. This is, of course, also because the footprints of the different parts are not always equal. When I see that the adhesion gets weaker, I just spray a little hairspray on the glossy areas. I use this simple procedure for all my prints. The only problem I discovered is that the adhesion sometimes is very strong and it is not easy to remove the goods from the bed. But this is always better than discovering a big mess in the printer because the part lost adhesion after 5 hours of printing. So, in the first video I showed how I switched the printer automatically off after it finished its work. In this video I showed how I make sure that the prints always stay where they should. In the last video about 3D printing tricks I will cover the topic on how I produce my files and how I get it on my printer. Stay tuned! As always, I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye!